This is FYI on your TV, brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham, and I've got Aiden Tucker back with me from the Smith Falls Heritage House Museum. You are one of the museum assistants there, and as you know, it's one of my favorite places to be. You've got so much going on there, too, so you've had a busy summer? Oh, absolutely. One of the busiest I've seen in my time there, that's for sure. Absolutely. Events going on all the time, and that's what we're here to talk about today is the events moving forward as well, too. And one being a big one coming up, it's called Come Together, a panel on RCA Victor and Beatlemania. And that's going to be on September 29th. Absolutely. So that's going to be running from 2 to 4.30-ish, around there. And we've got a whole bunch of people on a panel who used to work at RCA, either used to work at RCA or they're just big Beatles fanatics or sometimes even both. And they just like, they're coming to share their stories and it's going to be a wonderful time. And uh, during the summer you had a Beatlemania event uh, at the museum, plus you've been having a display for, for quite a long time too about our CAA and uh, the Beatlemania and CJAT Radio too was in there too. Oh, yeah. But uh, that event itself, a lot of people came out for that. Oh yeah, we actually had some people come in do an interview with one of my co-workers and that, that was broadcast and ever since then it's just been explosive amounts of people. I'm talking like just no time to rest. Absolutely. And positive feedback too. Everybody's loving it. You know, there's a chance to spin a record, an old Beatles record upstairs on a vinyl player and dance around and explore the wonderful history of the Beatles specifically related to Smith Falls. And I mean speaking of you know, the, the, radio, the record too on the re record player too, mm -hmm. RCA Victor, we used to have that here in Smith Falls. Absolutely. And uh, they used to uh, make the record for Beatles and then they go over to the radio station CJAT and uh, hot off the press they oh were one of the first well they were one of the first radio stations to play the Beatles oh absolutely they were and that's because um, 60 ish years ago the first ever Beatles album pressed in North America was actually pressed here in right. Smith Falls at that RCA plant that's right that's right and then it just made its way you know just a few blocks away over to the radio station and they played it right there too absolutely yeah, yeah it got its start there too so uh, we've got some big names coming to this uh, event on uh, September 29th we've got uh, Stu Patterson he used to be a, a disc jockey at CJT is going to be there. Yep, yeah, he's going to be there. He's a fun guy to hang out with. Yes, for sure, for sure. And I, I, he, he has saved some old tapes when he was working at the radio station, and I've, I've heard quite a few of them, so I hope he's going to bring some of them to that day, too. Just remember what the radio used to sound like oh, absolutely. 60 years ago. Yeah. Back at our Beatlemania exhibit, he actually prepared a, um, you know, a radio broadcast for us to play at the event as well, so that was just lovely to hear. It sounded just like it did back in the day. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And there's going to be another gentleman there. There's a lot of people on the panel, but Piers Hemmingson, he's a, a Beatle expert is what they call him. Oh yeah, I've been t I've been told by my coworkers he's the Beatles professor. Like if you need to know anything about Beatles related stuff, you ask him. He, he, he wrote a book. He, he's wrote a few books. Uh, he's met them and uh, he's followed them right from day one. Yeah, yeah. I, not much else to say for that. I mean, he's a genius, apparently. That's right. That's <laughs> I haven't right. met him myself, but. And uh, from what I understand, too, <clears throat> you have to get tickets online. They're 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 free. Yeah, but completely free. We yeah. we just ask for a donation at the door just to like support like the museum. But you can just order your tickets on Eventbrite. They're completely free to book. We can even book them over the phone for you on the mu at the museum there. And it's at the Station Theater. Yes. The, the event itself is at yeah. the Station Theater. Yeah. That's right. So I, from what I understand, tickets are going really well. So I, if you want to get yourself a ticket and get a spot to come to this, uh, get in there real quick and yeah. and, uh, and, and don't don't be uh, disappointed. Don't Absolutely. Be disappointed. So yeah. You can either call us or you can contact us through Facebook, email, all of that sort of good stuff. Yeah, and it'd be really nice to see, you know, people that used to work at RCA Victor there, you know, anybody that had anything to do with the radio station going to be there, you know? Yeah, exactly. Uh, it would kind of be like almost a high school reunion except absolutely. for a radio reunion. That's <laughs> right. And I mean, people who love the Beatles too. Come oh. on out. Come on out. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Teach us more and you'll learn more there too as well. I agree. Well. <laughs> now you've got lots more going on at the the, the Heritage House Museum too as well. You've got uh, all your fall events coming up which is a lot of fun. Oh yeah, I'm super excited. Fall Fun Day is one of my favorite events of the year. This year it's going to be on October 6th running from 11 to 2. We've got a lot planned. We've got the community pumpkin carving contest or pumpkin painting contest and pumpkin carving contest. <laughs> um, so Miller's Bay Farm is lovely and they sponsored us and provided a bunch of pumpkins for us um, for people to come grab at the Fall Fun event, register for the pumpkin carving event. Also got petting zoo, bouncy castles, a vendor market. We've got a barbecue 
barbecue. We've got horse wagon rides. Like, it's just going to be a good time. Excellent, excellent. Yeah. And you can tour the museum. Absolutely, well. yeah. yeah. I absolutely. mean, please do that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. And you said that date is October 6th? Yes. October yep. 6th. And then you've got your haunted house coming up too, too. This is one of my favorites too. Oh, absolutely. The sinister nature and all of us <laughs> takes over. <laughs> yeah, so that's going to be the last two weekends of October there, the Saturday and Sunday from about 7 to 9. And we're going to spookify the whole house. It's going to be horrifying. It's going to be scare actors in every nook and cranny of the house. It's going to be fantastic. We actually, if anybody out there is um, interested in volunteering for that, we always need more scare actor volunteers for the haunted house. Oh. So instead of being scared, you can do the scaring. Do the scaring. Okay, yeah. okay. How do people uh, become involved with that? Sure thing. So you can either just head on over to the Smith Falls Heritage House Museum Facebook, message us through there. There's some of our emails there that you can email us through, or you can just give us a call at 613-283-6311. We'd be happy to arrange all the details for that. All right. Yeah, it's a good way to actually earn uh, high school volunteer hours, too. Wonderful, yeah? wonderful, wonderful. And, and staying along the line of the haunted, uh, you've had a few nights where, where people can go and spend the night and they, they read for ghosts because they say that there are ghosts at, at the Heritage House Museum. Some people have said they've seen them. Yeah. Yeah, and you've had those. You've got those coming up again? Um, I think we've got, so currently the leader of the investigations... Uh, is going through a few health issues, so okay. we're not we're kind of kind of keeping nothing that planned. one on hold. Nothing planned. Nothing planned. I nothing hear planned. potential rumblings in November, but okay. I can't confirm or deny anything. I, I, <laughs> I, I would have never been at the museum through it, but you've had the lives, and I've watched watched some of it. It's very intriguing. It's super, and it's super fun too. Yes. Like we've got cameras set up in each of the rooms. We've got different ghost reading devices yes. for every all the public to kind of come and grab and select and go th disperse through the house in all the rooms. Now it's dark as dark can be in, right, the, right. in the house, so it's really hard to see half the time. Just be careful you don't trip over yes, something, I yes. guess. Yes, yes, you've got the good camera equipment, but it is dark there for sure. Uh, so let's uh, wrap around it with uh, Come Together again. Sure thing. September 29th. Yep, September 29th, starting at 2, ending at around 4, 4.30th. There's no actually, like, hard mm -hmm. end time it's just whenever people well, feel like it. When you're having a good talk about the Beatles and CJT and RCA yeah. <laughs> you can't cut that off. <laughs> it's like a good old classic hangout. Yeah, yeah exactly <laughs> exactly you get a bunch of disc jockeys in the room you can't talk them to them to stop talking. <laughs> yeah for all we know it could go into like <clears throat> six or something. That's right that's right that's right and that's going to be at the Station Theatre. Uh, yes, Station, Station Theatre, Theater. the old Canadian Pacific on the other end of on town. Victoria right? Avenue <laughs> for sure for sure and uh, Eventbrite. Yes, yes, so you can go through Eventbrite, find it, so it's the Come Together RCA panel on Eventbrite. Um, like I said, tickets are free, it's just to let us know who's coming, mm -hmm. and as you come to the door, I don't know, you can drop anywhere from a quarter to a bajillion dollars in the donation <laughs> bin, of course, you know, less people opt for that one. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we just want people to come out and have a good time. Absolutely, correct. Excellent, yeah. excellent, <laughs> and uh, you know, share a lot of uh, same-minded interests in the Beatles and RCA and CJET. Yeah, that's, that's all we ask for. Yeah, that's it's right. going to be wonderful. That's right, that's right. And once again, where is the Heritage House Museum located? Sure thing, right next to Lower Reach Park at 11 Old Slice Road. Beautiful big Victorian home next to the Rapids. It'd be a shame to miss it. That's right, that's <laughs> right. Well, thanks for joining us today. Aiden Tucker from our Smith Falls Heritage House Museum. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me, Kathy.